Some zone expanders require mounting and come in a high impact plastic housing. You can mount this to a wall, backboard, or other flat surface. There are two places you can install zone expanders, the keypad bus or the LX bus. When mounting to a keypad bus, be aware of how many devices you have connected to the keypad bus. For the XR150, there are eight devices maximum allowed on the keypad bus. For the XR550, there are 16 devices maximum allowed on the keypad bus. These devices can either be one physical item, such as a keypad, or four zones, like this zone expander. For example, when you connect an eight zone expander, this one item will take up two device slots. For this XR550, one keypad is one device, and a four zone expander, also one device. Terminal 7 supplies positive 12 volts of direct current regulated to power the connected devices. This also supplies power for any auxiliary device. The ground for this terminal can be found over here, Terminal 10. Terminal 8 receives data from devices. Terminal 9 sends data to devices. Apply the yellow wire to Terminal 8 and apply the green wire to Terminal 9. When mounting to an LX bus, simply join the red, yellow, green, and black wires to a four-wire harness and connect it to the LX bus. Once connected, set the address of the module. Here, the module has rotary dials that you can change to identify the device address. If it's connected to a keypad bus, simply match the numbers on the dials to the device address. This device is set to address 2, 0 on the first dial, and 2 on the second. If it's connected to an LX bus, match the dials to the last two digits of the zone addresses. If it's plugged into LX500 with rotary dials set to 0 and 0, then the first zone will be zone 500. Any other zones included in the expander will follow sequentially. Some zone expanders have a serial number and identify without having to physically set the rotary dials. In this case, take note of the expander serial number. Once you begin programming the device, enter in the device's serial number. That's how to install a zone expander to an XR series panel.